Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Julie from the Frogs class. Um, I wanted to read you a story today and talk to you a little bit about the changing seasons. So in the frog class, we have lots of jobs. and One of our jobs is calendar helper. The calendar helper tells us what day of the week it is, what month, what date, what the date is, and also what the year is, but they also tell us what season it is. So the, since the last time we saw you, the seasons have changed. It's not winter anymore, it's spring. So I'm gonna read you a book today called I Am Spring by Rebecca and James McDonald. I am spring. After the cold of winter, I'm the season when the sun starts to slowly warm the land and everything begins to grow again. Flowers open and show their bright colors. Animals and insects come out of hiding and new life is born into the world. One, one way that people can tell it's the first day of spring is that the light of day lasts as long as the dark of night. This is called the spring equinox. During spring, each day the sun rises a little earlier and sets a little later in the afternoon, making the days longer and brighter. Brighter weather means the dirt is warmer, so seeds sprout and push their way toward the sun. Spring is one of the growing seasons when seeds grow into vegetables that can be picked and eaten. High up in the sky, when warm spring air mixes with cold ocean air, it can cause bursts of rain showers, watering the land and helping things to grow. Bees and other insects come out of hiding and visit flowers for a sip of sweet nectar and a bite of pollen. Many birds that flew away to avoid the cold winter return for the warm sunshine of spring skies. When birds travel to far off places for better weather and more food, scientists call this migration. As spring warms the land, the sound of bird song fills the air. Birds chirp, tweet, and trill, calling out to meet one another and to claim the areas they want to live. Spring is also the time for building nests and laying eggs. While birds are up high, frogs and toads are down low, laying eggs in the ponds, under leaves, and sometimes even carrying eggs around on their backs. There's plenty to eat in the warmth of spring. Spring, sunshine, and the smell of growing foods wake up the sleepy animals that rest during the cold months. With the warm sun and lots of food, spring is the perfect season for babies to grow. Bare branches on trees begin to sprout new leaves and some will also grow blossoms. Blossom is another way of saying flower. A gentle spring breeze moving through blossoming branches can make it feel like it's raining flowers. Plants, like trees, are very helpful with keeping the air clean. They remove pollution through their leaves and catch dust and other floating particles on their branches and bark. With all the new growth in spring, there are lots of plants to clean the air. One way that people help to keep the air clean is by planting new trees and taking care of the plants that are already here. When the day becomes longer than the night and the leaves begin to sprout on the bare branches and bugs and animals that were hiding start to reappear, get ready because that means that spring is here. Boys and girls, would you say a prayer with me, please? Dear Lord, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for giving us the spring and new growth and new birth and the rain and the sunshine, Lord. Thank you most of all for giving us your son, Jesus. In his name, amen. Boys and girls, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.